Have you been asked to calculate the return on investment using the DuPont model and need a bit of a refresher on that? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to make that super easy for you in today's video. But first, I want to say I believe something great is going to happen for you today. And now back to the video. If you're someone who is unsure of how to calculate different types of returns on investment, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That way I know that you're out there and you could use some more videos like this one. Thank you. All right. When we're asked to calculate the return on investment using the DuPont model, we need to know that what it's telling us is that our return on investment, which is also known as the ROI, is equal to the margin times the turnover. Again, that's the margin times the turnover. So let's look at some specific financials here and we'll go ahead and apply that so you can see it in action. If we've got a particular company with the following financials, a balance sheet, the total assets at the end of the prior year was 350,000 and the total assets at the end of the newest year is 405,000 and the net income for this particular year that we're calculating the return on investment would be 600,000 and our net income at the end of that is $55,000. Let's figure out what the return on investment is using the DuPont model. So I'm going to recopy that down here that the return on investment, we're going to call it the ROI is equal to the margin times the turnover. And specifically what we're talking about with turnover here, because there are more than one types of turnover. So no, we're going to be working with the asset turnover ratio. And whatever number we're going to get, we're going to multiply it by 100 because we want to turn it into a percentage. So just remember that at the end and we'll show that. All right, so our ROI is equal to our margin. Well, the formula for our margin is net income over sales. And we're going to multiply that by the asset turnover ratio, which is sales over the average total assets. All right, let's go ahead and plug in our numbers for this. Again, we're calculating the ROI is equal to our net income. Our net income is right here, the 55,000. And that's over our sales, which is the 600,000. And we're going to multiply that by sales, which is again, 600,000. And our average total assets. So the way we're going to find that to average total assets is we take our beginning assets, which would be the end of the prior year, 350,000 in this case, and we're going to add that to our average total assets at the end of the year that we're calculating. And we're going to divide that by two. And that's going to give us our average total assets. So let's clean this up a little bit. Again, we're looking at finding the ROI and I've got the 55,000 up here. I have 600,000 here and we're multiplying it by the 600,000 over here. And let's figure out what this is and we'll plug it in here. So I'm gonna pull out my calculator and we're gonna take the, let's see, it's got a little, little bit of a reflection there. We have 350,000 and I'm gonna add the 405,000 to it and divide that by two. 
that gives me 377,500 in our denominator here. Now, you will notice that in the formula, we have sales and we have sales. We have sales in the denominator here and sales in the numerator here, so we can just cross those out because they cancel out. So again, we have 600,000 here, 600,000 here, they cancel out. So we're now calculating our ROI is equal to 55,000 over 377,500. Let's use our calculator for that. And we have 55,000 and we're gonna divide it by 300 and 77,500, that gives us 0 0.145695. That's the ratio, we're gonna multiply it by 100 because I wanna turn it into a percentage or move the decimal over two places. And that means our ROI is equal to 14, Point, and then we have five, six, we can round that to six. 14.6% 14 is our ROI. That's all I have for you today on this. You now know how to calculate the return on investment using the DuPont model, but there's more to know. So don't miss anything by subscribing to my channel and click that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you.